We're repeating a lot of stuff from Mega Man 1, I noticed, though. Alright, let's fill some things up. Uh, let's fill up Rush. Uh, we have some really annoying guys coming up. Yeah, those guys. Kind of difficult to uh, avoid them. That's okay, the game's just going to refill our health uh, anyways. Just want to take them out quickly because they'll keep uh, grabbing those junk blocks and throwing them at you. So just shoot them, Mega Buster, Search Snake, Shadow Blade, whatever suits your fancy, uh, and be done with them. And now, uh, oh, I'm gonna go see if I can skip. Oh, we're gonna have Shadow versus Shadow action. Shadow Man is weak to the top spin and his own weapon. How about that? All right, I don't feel like taking on the other seven. Oh, okay. We'll pick you. It's Needle Man. Let's try and not die to him this time. Mega Man. Ooh. I'll pretend that I planned that uh, bouncing with Gemini Laser. And speaking of Gemini. Ah, uh, the Search Snake will take this guy down very quickly, but only if you uh, fire it in the right direction. And speaking of Snake Man, I promise you I'm not planning this. I do not have these guys' positions memorized that well. Ooh, get away from me. There we go. Now when I was uh, younger and I saw a, uh, a uneven boss floor like that, I would always panic and be like, oh, this w this guy's going to be so much tougher, and, and uh, for the most part he would be. And now that I've grown up, uh, I enjoy the uh, uneven floor layout. It, it adds a nice refreshing challenge and a, a nice way to try and dodge enemies. Oh, and it's Magnet Man again. This time we'll show that uh, Spark is also your weakness. And we'll show how to uh, dodge your attacks. And that time we actually let you live long enough to attack. And, uh, just speaking of Sparkman. Ha! I dodged your big fancy thing. And last but not least, it's Top Man. Let's punch him in the face! I let him hit me there. I was feeling sad for him. Alright, weapons we want to refill the hard knuckle. Because it's kind of becoming my favorite weapon in this game. And Spark Shock is nice. And if we didn't refill enough things, here's more power ups. So let's get uh let's get snake full. Why not? We'll get Shadow full. And let's watch as it will. We're maxed out on uh, one ups and. and uh, E tanks. I don't even need that. Now, there's two ways you can go about uh, this battle with Wily here. You can do things the honest way with the Mega Buster. You'll have a long, 
drawn out battle. You might need to use some E-Tanks. You might have to try and dodge these walker things. Or you can use the spark shot and miss him with every attack. That's a great aim all game until then. And uh, the second form is weak to rush jet. I'm not kidding. Like I said, if you want to, you can uh, try and go in between that. It leads to a really long drawn out battle with Wily. Or you just uh, use Rush Jet. Uh, using the Turbo Fire on there would also make the battle even shorter. And uh, we beat Dr. Wily. Or another fake Dr. Wily. Well, at least it's not aliens again. I mean, that was just absurd. More power ups. Uh, Needle. Gemini. What good is it to give uh, health refills at this point? I mean, your health is full coming into this. Well, now we are going to battle uh, Gamma, the giant peacekeeping robot that Wily stole and reprogrammed and put on a uh, giant guts man. So this is a problem. And how do we solve our problems in Mega Man 3? By punching them in the face. And making them explode. And now we have uh, Wily to deal with. The Mega Buster is not effective. Uh, you'll want the Search Snake there. Also, the Top Spin works on that second form as well. And Mega Man does some weird backwards walking. And then Blocks Fall for some reason or another. Where's Dr. Wily? What do you mean, where's Dr. Wily? He was under that brick. Were you not paying attention? So now we leave with the assumption that uh, Dr. Wily is dead. Uh, spoiler alert, he's not. And uh, like I said, we broke Break Man of that name, and now he is Proto Man. Wonderful. And so now we can sit here and enjoy the ending. Uh, now I do enjoy. Mega Man 3, I enjoy almost all of the Mega Man games, certainly all of the classic Mega Man games. And another great addition, uh, in some ways it's more difficult, in some ways it's a little bit easier. Some of the special weapons do a ton of damage to certain enemies. You just have to know how to use them, and that's kind of the fun part I like about uh, the Mega Man games is finding uses for the special weapons, not just against uh, the bosses, but throughout the stages as well. Uh, Mega Man 3 does still suffer a little bit from the uh, uh, some robot masters having multiple weaknesses. Uh, I think all of the Mega Man 2 boss refights had uh, two weapons that they were weak to. I know I talked about some of them and some of them I didn't just because one weapon is very effective at dealing with it, like Magnet Man uh, versus Metal Man. Um, but even the uh, regular eight robot masters here, Magnet Man was super weak to the Shadow Blade and the uh, Spark Shock. Shadow Man is weak to the Top Spin and his own weapon, which is ironic enough. But those will be fixed in Mega Man 4 we will have an actual, uh, a true rock-paper-scissors pattern to the weapons where uh, you won't have multiple weapons being super effective against one Robot Master. Uh, and we'll have some longer Wily stages. The Wily stages were incredibly short in this game. That's one of the other things I don't like about it. But that's kind of balanced out by having to revisit four of the 
other Robot Masters stages and fighting the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters again. Uh, so overall, great game. I really enjoyed the music, uh, as always. The special weapons had a good variety, uh, except there was no barrier weapon. That's one thing I noticed. This is one of the few Mega Man games, uh, at least in the classic series, that does not give us a barrier type weapon. But uh, that is all. So uh, we'll put this game to bed, and we'll see you later. Good night, everybody.